Alongside attempts to encourage all of us to look after our health a little better is a booming wellness industry. Seeing someone like Belle heal themselves through food, it made me feel like this was the answer to everything that I had been looking for. A young, beautiful woman gets given the terrible news she has inoperable brain cancer and only four months to live. In August 2013, Belle Gibson launched The Whole Pantry, a book, an app and a website in which she claimed that healthy eating had cured her condition. She took her own well-being into her hands and it worked and she transformed her life from it. Immediately after I was diagnosed, I was put on a whole bunch of medication, including steroids. I kind of experienced some of the physical side effects that come from steroids, such as weight gain, um, bloating of the face. Seeing someone like Belle heal themselves through food made me feel hopeful. It made me feel like this was the answer to everything that I had been looking for. When I was 19 years old, I was told that my cholesterol was too high. I should follow some lifestyle changes if I wanted to and come back in a year. If it was still high, I would have to go on statins for the rest of my life. I found Belle Gibson and this wellness community that was very focused on taking charge of your own health. It was very empowering. And on top of that, it was very visually appealing. And in between that, there were these pictures of these people who looked so healthy and happy and shiny. And if I need to eat that food to look like that, I'm gonna do it. It was offering this kind of toolkit for people to follow her lifestyle. So there were these really, really stunning recipes. There was something very serene about the app. Clean eating was a phrase that the wellness community really latched onto and really used a lot. The idea that we needed to clean up the way that we were eating. I mean, everyone knows vegetables are good for you. Fruit is good for you. Plants are good for you. It made sense, the idea that all these processed foods and these various ingredients that we were eating were not good for us. It was so simple. I had been writing about the wellness phenomenon since 2012 and then I came across Belle Gibson's claims online and I was just immediately intrigued by them. Because I'd written about the wellness industry and had interviewed a, a range of cancer specialists, I just was immediately suspicious about her claim about this brain tumour. You just don't live with something like that for five years without having some kind of treatment. In July 2014, Belle posted this picture on Instagram with a caption explaining how her cancer had spread. I have cancer in my blood, spleen, brain, uterus and liver. I am hurting. I can still see it so clearly in my mind, that post and that caption, because I just remember feeling so devastated for her. Like, how can this happen? The thing that you first notice about Belle Gibson is that she just doesn't look sick at all, like she's a picture of glowing health. But halfway through the interview, I framed a question which was something along the lines of, what about these other four cancers that you um, were recently diagnosed with? And she started this answer that just seemed to go around in circles and she was talking about the difficulties she was having. She was going to tell me something that she hadn't said publicly before. It was very difficult and upsetting for her. And I was just sitting there thinking, what, what is, where is this going? Like, what is she talking about? And she started telling me that the doctor who diagnosed her with these other four cancers uh, the previous year had shot through on her and she was no longer seeing him and she now had doubts about his bona fides. And so I said to her, well, what are you telling me? Are you saying that you're now not sure that you've got these other four cancers? And she said, no. Doubts were raised when she failed to deliver a promised $300,000 to charity. 
But I knew we had to publish immediately. We couldn't sit on what we had anymore. People's immediate reaction was denial. This can't be real, surely not. And then as I think it started to sink in, that's when the doubt creeped in and people thought, okay, maybe she actually did lie. I felt incredibly gullible that I had fallen for something that could so easily have been disproven and was disproven. How could I be so stupid? You go on Instagram in 2013, I have been healing a severe and malignant brain cancer for the past few years with natural medicine, Gerson therapy and foods. It's working for me. It is. And Except if any... you didn't have brain cancer. 